Hello everyone, Philopater here, and welcome to another exciting episode of Total War Rome 2. In this battle, I am playing as the Scythian, while my opponent, Disaster Mode, plays as Macedon. And I think we can all see what's about to happen. I don't need this right now. We all see what's about to happen. Macedon is going to form a nice defensive wall in between these two hills, and I'm going to run circles around him and pepper him with arrows. So for my army, I have brought six Scythian noblewomen, a fantastic unit. I love bringing them, even though bringing the Amazonians probably would have saved up more money for more melee cav, but I just love these gals. I have three Scythian Royal Horse for their Draco ability, and then six Noble Lancers for their, just, you know, lancing ability. And you can see that I've split up my melee cav into three different groups, and each group has a Royal Horse for that Draco ability. So, we're going to get the battle off right away. I see these hoplites running back, and so I'm just going to shoot them in the back with arrows. <laughs> Looks like we got... Yeah, we're going to get about 20 kills on them. But then I see the skirmishers coming up and decide it's time to get out of there. And so there's going to end up being three avenues of attack. I'm going to have one group of horse archers... Have one group of horse archers shooting up this hill, another group of horse archers targeting the skirmishers on this hill, and then I'm going to set a third group of horse archers targeting the center. When the attack actually comes, it's going to follow a very similar pattern. There will be a charge up to take this hill, some cavalry coming up to the, take this hill, but then the majority of the cavalry coming in directly on the center. And you can see by the timer, right now we're about 13 minutes, this is going to be quite a long battle. More noble women cresting that little ridge, getting shots off into the uns mostly unshielded side of the hoplite. And listen to the Macedonians all discussing their horrible, horrible fates. Let's see, so we get 99. I think we're going to take these guys down to about half strength. Uh, let's see. I have to keep doing this. And you'll notice, not bragging or anything, but I don't have the debug camera. So this is my camera during the game. So I can only really control one half of the battlefield at any time. So I would say move these guys up, let them skirmish, pull them back, while Macedon is moving his archers, rush over here to this side, attack the hill, pull back. There's a lot of micro back and forth, and a lot of swinging the camera back and forth. You, you get quite dizzy trying to do this. I'm actually going to put it into fast forward for a little while. Nope, sorry, there they are. Just trying to remember where they go. I'm going to pull these guys around here. These gals, sorry. And yeah, and you could just imagine Macedon thinking to himself, what do I do? Um, when the screen originally popped up, oh, more skirmishing taking place over here. This is probably just the best spot to watch. But when the, the battle screen originally popped up, and he saw what I had brought, he immediately typed in the comments, you know, what is that? What are you doing? Like, well, it's, it's Scythia. They're a nomad faction. You have to get horse... You know, it's all horse archers. I don't know if he realized what Scythia was or what they could bring. Um, hence the thorax swords, and not just all hoplites. Which is, of course, silly when you think about it. Because if he brought all hoplites... My Draco ability is going to negate those spears, and then and then what? So, taking a couple pot shots over there. Let's see, we're moving around. Nope, this is all on the left side. Everybody's moving around, so I send in my noble women again. I make a feint to push for the hill, but decide it's not worth it. Hmm. <laughs> Anything, so what would you do if you came up against a nomadic faction? Well, first off, don't panic. Uh, the nomads are not particularly strong. You have to bring huge numbers of horse archers. And so long as you, you know, again, stay patient and stay focused, you can win. Tried to sneak my horse archers around the side. Didn't work. Oh, I never went over my opponent's build. I'm sorry. Uh, so Disaster Mode has brought, it looks like, two Cretan archers. I think two Rhodian slingers. Two Thurio spears. I think he's got either three or four hoplites. And then it looks like three thorax swordsmen, a companion cav general, and then a sarissa cav, two citizen cavalry, and then another companion cavalry. 
Sorry about that. Um, anyways, so what do you do if your opponent brings the Nomads? Well, first off, you don't panic. Secondly, you don't actually bring a Hoplite army. And a lot of people would immediately think, oh, bring Hoplites. They have spears, they can stop cavalry. But that Draco ability is going to negate the uh, anti-large bonus that the Hoplites get. So you can see right now it's a bonus versus large of 15. When my horses rush in and activate Draco, that's going to go down to zero. On the meantime, these Thorax Swordsmen, they don't lose any bonus, because they have no bonus to begin with, and they already have better attack and better weapon damage. So you can try to juke out your opponent by bringing Swordsmen and Archers instead of an Elite Spear Troop. And of course, putting the Thorax Swordsmen into Shield Wall, you know, will do pretty much the same job as a Hoplite Wall. It will keep your men braced, they will not lose a whole lot of men on the charge, life will be good for them. Skirmishers are moving around, and so I take the opportunity to shoot at them. Don't get a whole lot of kills for my trouble. Okay, now we're getting some kills. Looks like these are down to 60. 56. Looks like I'm still going at them. Huh, that's risky. 50, 45. Alright, it's down to half strength. Finally lost a couple of horse archers. And let's see, we can put it back onto play now. I actually listen to the women shout things at each other. And of course, being mi medium and light missile cavalry, uh, these gals are actually, they're only winded. They've been running the entire battle. You'd think they would be exhausted. I think even, you know, that one over there is fresh. But, see, you know, kill-wise, we got 28, 51, 29, 26, 29. So not bad, but this is just death of a thousand cuts right here. Another nice volley. Oh no, one horse died. But this is just death of a thousand cuts. Your opponent gets more and more frustrated as his arrows flop into the ground. And at the same time, again, what is he supposed to do? He can't exactly move out. Ouch, that was a mistake. Luckily it wasn't so bad. He can't move out to try and fight me, because he'll just, he'll get ruined. Um, he just kind of has to stand there and take it and watching his forces slowly get whittled away, you know, it's not a whole lot. Hoplites are down to half strength, 96. What are we up to? 100, 100 men. What are we got? 81 on the Rhodians, 27 on the Cretans. Just watching his entire army slowly get picked to pieces, uh, it's gotta be extremely frustrating. Alright, so I'm gonna try for a charge up on the left side. I'm gonna look at it from his side of the battle. So, left flank will be over here, right flank. Right flank is over there, left flank is over here. So I'm trying a charge straight up the flank. So I'm going to knock over a whole bunch of Thurio Spears. They've gotten six kills. And then you can see that bonus versus large down to ten. Companion Cavalry trying to get a charge in. Uh, so there's going to be a bloody fight over here for the left hill. At which point I'm starting to move up my men on the center and on the right. Macedon brings all of his cavalry over to the left hill to try and push me off. I get my noble women into these Rodian Slingers. I get a nice charge off, but I don't think I'm going to actually be able to beat them, and so I'm going to have to pull back. Now that I see this cavalry coming, yeah, I'm not going to stand up to companion. And so just... <laughs> that was neat. I just get out of the way. Three of spears have routed. Companions have lost five men. But... where are they? Oh, my men aren't looking too bad. And here comes the charge up the center. Very nice. And at the same time, I'm pushing up here. These Thurio Spears are at fire at will, so they're not braced. My cavalry is just going to charge right through and get into the missile troops. Meanwhile, my, the rest of my horse archers can line up and go after the Thorax Swordsmen. Now, here's what I was talking about with the Hoplites. Remember, they had a bonus of versus large of 15. Now they're down to 5. So we're left with the melee attack of 34, weapon damage of 26. Thor Thorax Swordsmen have an attack of 38 and weapon damage of 34. Just bring the Swordsmen. Um, and who knows, your opponent might actually get confused and think, oh, they're swordsmen, I could easily take them out. Putting the swordsmen in shield wall, they'll get a nice bracing bonus, they'll get nice armor strength. Oh, they might be able to pull it out. And even, I'm not trying to brag here, let's see, I got some companion cavalry. I have now captured the hill on the right, still fight, harsh fighting in the center. However, I've been driven off the hill on the left, however, this is interesting. 
I must have just been micring elsewhere and not realized. Uh, but it looks like... Okay, there we go. Finally pulling away. Noble Lancers are going to get killed. But my Scythia Noble Women are now able to target the General. Oh, that's odd. It looks like the Sarissa Cav lost men on that charge. Getting into and stopping the Citizen Cavalry, just trying to keep my Horse Archers alive. More Draco being popped. Uh, let's see. I actually have a raised banner. I picked the wrong General by mistake. Skirmishers trying to get back up on the hill on the right. I'm going to clean them up. Hoplites. I left my men in battle with the Hoplites for way too long. I'm going to lose too many horses. Chasing away the General, trying to kill him. Getting my Noble Lancers, who are going to stop and try and fight the General, but they're good. That was a horrible charge. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, no matter. Noble women are going to shower the general with heavy shot, kill him off, take him off the field. My horse archers have survived the citizen cavalry. And you can see at this point the balance bar is quickly swinging in my favor. It's simply a matter of using the rest of my ammunition, surrounding properly, getting good charges off, and routing the enemy army from the field. Let's just watch this and... I mean, look at that. Hills with horse archers on them. You don't stand a chance. Nice charge coming in, getting at the back. I'm going to probably kill, you know, lots of friendly fire here with these noble women. Whoops. That was cruel. I was going to say, these are citizen cavalry. I'm like, why do they have Greek swords? But they don't. They have these, uh, these little axes. General routes, and now the infantry is going to route. We've got one last charge coming in. Lance is down at the last second, and boom! And that's all she wrote. Let's take a quick look at the statistics. Uh, my noble women obviously did great. Over 100 kills, 99, 95, 76, 78. Lots of great kills on the noble women. Uh, and most of these kills actually probably came after the melee had started, at which point the enemy infantry is knocked over, they can't get their shields up, heavy shock can come in at point-blank range, lots of kills. Fortunately, I lost a lot of noble lancers, and so I'm thinking maybe in the future, maybe only bringing a few noble women, and then bringing some Amazonians, and then having extra noble lancers. But, you know, I don't know, we'll think about it. General and my royal horse doing their job, popping Draco, so that the hoplites don't kill off my men. And you look and you think, well, you know, I lost a lot of cavalry, uh, I don't know how well of an engagement this was, 900 kills, lost less than half my army. Macedon deployed 1,600 men, lost 1,200. So really, really good in my favor. And there's nothing to say that half of these men, you know, won't get brought back to the doctor or the shaman or whomever and get, uh, you know, healed up. So let's see, I guess. Uh, let's see. Obviously, enemy skirmishers doing nothing. I was able to juke the arrows extremely well. Very, very happy with how I did that. Hoplites getting 54 kills. Eh, you know, not bad. But in the end, just Macedon just got outplayed. So, a uh, great game to my opponent, nonetheless. I had a lot of fun bringing a nomad faction and trying to beat a defensive Hellenic faction. I think it's a lot of fun. I don't care if someone pike boxes or spear boxes against the nomads. What else are you supposed to do? So, I had a lot of fun with this battle. Uh, I hope my opponent opponent sorry. I hope my opponent enjoyed it as well. Uh, if not, what else can we say? Maybe we'll do a rematch in the future and I'll bring a quote-quote normal army. So, this is Fellow Pater. I'll see you in the next one.